that's also our hardcore character for once we are done with Sorceress or uh, uh, once we reach, reach 25 or once she dies. Both things can happen ending the run with this character. And I, I, I love being wireless and this headset has been serving me for so long but now that I got a haircut recently it kind of keeps like itching me on the sides of my head where the hair is shorter. I'm kind of missing the, the ear pods. For sure, like having the having the headset on your head for such a long time every day is definitely bothering at times. But it is a really good headset. It's been serving me so many years. Um Okay. So we, we need two more level ups before we get to this tree. I've seen people using Hydra. Like, Hydra is pretty OP. Everyone, no matter what kind of magic you're going for, everyone is using the Hydra. So, we might be like checking out other things, but I think even that we are ice, we're gonna be going for the Hydra. Most likely. Hmm. Yeah, we are using the ice shield. I like it, but the flame shield actually makes you immune. But it's only two seconds too, so it is shorter. It heals, Garant's movement. Mana cost reduction. For now we are going for this, but we might switch here too. Frost Nova is pretty nice also. I mean, we got to this, yeah, at this point, the next points we spend before the Hydra, we might get Frost Nova to, to freeze stuff up close, but okay, let's see. Um, I, I mean, I could be spamming the main mission, but I feel like we, we will have to do some side content too. I provide a steady supply of... Shall we say specimens? Okay, we did most of those. Oh, I cannot skip. Really? Knowledge has become more dangerous to satisfy. I require a host of Wait, that's odd. From the surrounding area. Can you not skip dialogue inside missions? Or did it bug out? They can reanimate with only a few drops of blood. I'd venture out and retrieve these myself, but I'm more accustomed to dealing with the fully dead. Your discretion is appreciated, of course, and mm. you will be rewarded. Weird. My husband, Theodore. Yeah, you cannot. Interesting. I heard him talking to someone, another woman. I went to confront yeah, we did those side missions already, and I cannot I skip dialogue. They have been gone all night. I think it's time I went after him, but the forest is dangerous. Would you accompany me? Guess I already took those, so let's take all the side missions from this area. Oh, nice. That was just the piece of paper. Good. Okay. I mean... Sure, I guess. We have this main mission and that main mission. Nariel. Take care, traveler. <laughs> the hell just happened? <laughs> Ghoul hearts.
This is for a quest, right? I'm pretty sure I'm... Yeah, ghoul hearts for the quest. Help with the husband, give thanks to the shrine. Those are pretty fast, so let's do them. I do like the eyes for now. It does work pretty well. Thanks. Cool. Are those the high level elixirs? Yes. Interesting. So I had those in the barb too. You get like very high level elixirs here for some reason. Not sure if that's a bug. I mean, the orb with my current build actually does quite a lot of damage. It is pretty good. Let's do all the side missions then. Teleport back. We do have a cellar here. I'm not ready yet. Uh, yeah, we have the dagger. We have two legendaries already at level 10. Got them both from one dungeon during the main mission. They, they have to have boosted the legendary drop. I refuse to believe that they didn't. It's so easy in this beta to get full legendary set. It is ridiculous. That was it, okay. Yeah, the cellars are very small dungeon type things. Hell yeah, upgrades. I do prefer the one hands, the relic plus dagger or wand instead of the stuff. The stuff has a very slow uh, shooting speed, casting speed. I do like how the ice uh, crowd controls. Freezing is really good. So we're gonna have to have like more damage type abilities, but I do love freezing. Oh god, careful with the orbs blowing up. Yeah, the flesh. Let's 
go. It is super fun to play a ranger class. I have to admit, like I feel like I was I was thinking about playing Barb when the game comes out. And I still might because it seems like he's going to be crazy in PVP, but mage is so fun. Just like being able to fight everything from afar. It's like a completely different game that you're not forced to always stay next to the enemies and run after the range cl range enemies that run away from you. That's the, the annoying part about Barb. You have to run after everything. So I was thinking that on release I'm gonna play their Barb or Mage, the Sork, some. I might still do that, I might still switch to Sork. Or maybe the next weekend, in the open beta, I'm gonna love either Druid or Necromancer. I just don't want to play a summoning class, that's why Necromancer is kinda meh. But, from what I've seen, you can play a Necromancer that like casts blood spells. And I don't think the druid is gonna be for me. My sweet Theodore, may you know bliss. It Theodore? What has happened? Oh heavens! No, no! Such sights I have witnessed, such pleasure, such pain. I must have more. What? Fyodor? How is it that you... More! Please, go after that woman who did this to him! More! Let's go. More, more, more! More, more, more. I need time to prepare that. It's no surprise Fyodor was drawn to me. But I have given only... I would skip desire. those dialogues if I could because we are already we beat the entire beta with Berserker this is a second character his flesh is unyielding you will not interfere no come on look it's crazy how fast we can even elites even elites and bosses, how fast we can freeze them. I love the ice uh, crowd control. But we will probably, if like people say, the hydras are OP, probably will take hydras for damage while I'm using ice. You want. Take the dagger from his chest. Oh, maybe. oh no, I have a legendary, but maybe this dagger is gonna be decent. It does not seem like it. Yeah, I have this core skill damage up on... Yeah, my dagger is really good. And I have the damage in case while the barrier is active, so... I'm using the... Yeah, we're not gonna replace it for a while. Oh, that's an upgrade. Wait, it's... Basic skill damage, that's nice. Yeah, it says it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's, it's buggy. The damage per second even... is buggy there. Telling you wrong things. On a Sork. Excellent work, friend. Ghoulhearts seem to have captivated the clergy as Weird that we cannot skip this. No you can only skip the main quest. Understanding your enemy is the first step to defeating them. I'm not sure how worth XP-wise is... Uh, 
doing those quests. I mean, we definitely want to get those. There is there is a uh, three skill points you can get. Oh no, that's a potion charge. Uh, two skill points and one potion charge you can get from completing the regions that I got on my barb. Those are locked for the tier three world. I guess we go like we are already here. Yeah, I guess we can just follow the main quest. That that one is still the yeah. We're gonna be like running around with the. Good salvage. With the wolf leading us. That's like the st typical story quest. Let's keep going. I'm pretty sure... No, upgrade available. Okay. Good thing I checked. Um... We can upgrade the potions. That is important. And we also will see now. I'm assuming I have to buy it with the materials again. Because I heard people say that like maybe in full game it's gonna be a thing. I heard people say that if you on one character you upgrade potions, you don't have to do it on an another character, but it seemed to be a lie, at least in beta. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends hmm. a lot of time. Yeah, we cannot skip wilds. dialogue for some reason. I don't know if it's bugged. Also won some of my elixirs, but let's focus on your healing potion for now. I have some extra materials we can use this time. Yeah, for if some reason we cannot skip anything. Potion further or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your own ingredients. I'll not leave these walls. Never again. Elixirs brood to Yeah, it seems you have to use materials. The level 20 is the max you can use in this beta. Kettle's hot. What uh, do you need? So we need the Gallowine. Whiteberry. We might craft elixirs for... For the experience. How many do we need? Uh... 15 and 5 bite berry. Okay, let's let's do right away. Four. Now we're gonna use them for keep you. experience boost. I have to remember to do that. We have a side mission here. Also the main mission, and I have to spend a point. Item upgrading. Let's have a look at you. Hmm? Yeah, I think it bugged that I cannot skip. Buckles need reinforcing. This leather's cracked. What have you been getting yourself into, huh? Look, you live or die by the quality of your equipment. If you've the coin and materials, I can improve it for you. I love the music and this town. And hey, look at this guy. He has the same legendary helmet I do. Yeah, just on a male character. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return. Oh, Rib Bozo. Tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. Okay, let's see, let's run up to the main quest and let's see if uh, I'm gonna be able to skip the dialogue. If no, that means it bugged and I cannot skip. <gasps> 
See that the kitchen is ready for the morrow's service. Angels above. You've returned. The Reverend Mother yep, it bugged. Shit. I don't know if I should restart the game. Seek your blessing there. Everything is unfolding as Inarius foretold. Soon, he will be free to escape sanctuary and return to the heavens where he belongs. That's gonna be annoying. Because we beat everything already. So I'm like speedrunning on hardcore difficulty. With a Sork now and Rogue later. Okay. So we already unlocked those. I could improve my spells, but... Or go passives. The resistance to elements when you're casting spells is pretty nice. Glass cannon I'm not gonna go on. Uh, hardcore with more damage dealing, but receiving more damage. That's uh, kind of nice, the crits resetting. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get another frost ability. Freezing enemies around me. Like when you're getting swarmed, it seems like a good thing to have. And we can reduce the cooldown. Frost Nova makes enemies vulnerable. Apparently it works on bosses, the Frost. Four mana per enemy hit. That's pretty good too. Like you can spam spells. They get close to you, you freeze them, and boom, you have mana again. Especially if we're gonna have like spells that will take a lot of mana. This The Hydras cost 20, so... It could be a good uh, recovery mana skill. I think I'm gonna have Hydras on my side mouse button. So I'm gonna move this... To four. Go. Okay, that's the coffers quest. Main mission there. This is the other part of the main mission. We have a side mission there. What's up, evil Jaspinio? I mean, it definitely, it definitely isn't like uh, Diablo Immortal, but we still don't know fully how it's gonna be when the game fully comes out. Uh, one thing that's definitely pay to win is the fact that not only you have to pay 70 euros, 70 dollars for the full game when it releases in June, People that pay a hundred will get to play four days before you. So if you are going for like world first boss skills, if you are going for PvP and you want to be ahead of the curve with gear farming and leveling, people will have a four day advantage that paid more. So that's definitely something I would consider pay to win. But after that, so far they are saying they're gonna be selling skins I mean, it is a full-priced game, so it still sucks they want to sell skins and do battle passes, but there is no info at all about any kind of pay-to-win, like, buy power upgrades type deal. And, like, Diablo Immortal was just extremely scummy uh, mobile game to another level, so... No way of telling what's gonna be what, but, I mean, I don't think... There is even a chance they're gonna do it, make it as bad as Diablo Immortal, but there could be some bad things added over time, but we'll see. We'll see. It definitely is a completely different system, if that's what you're asking. There is no, like, gems in your gear 
that increase your power level and you know that was the main deal in Diablo Immortal Th there is no system like that in, in here it's about gearing up and upgrading your gear I'm not ready yet I'm not ready yet I need time to prepare for it. After kill the shamans. I need time to prepare for it. Oh, they froze me. That's bad. That's bad. I, need time. I have to be super careful here. I lack the need of mana. I'm not ready. Okay, let's go. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. See, that's that's the scariest thing that can happen to me. Is oh, we're gonna rare. That's the scariest thing that can happen to me. Getting frozen and them chipping my HP down. So I think I'm gonna get this too. I think I'm gonna get the. Oh, we leveled up too. I think I might get. The resistance to elements when I'm casting skills, especially that it is higher resistance for ice. Because if I get frozen, that might be GG. We are playing on hardcore, by the way, so the character is permadie. Battle pass, yeah. There should be never a battle pass in a game that isn't uh, free to play. And you have to not pay only 60, but 70 uh, dollars or euro for the basic version of the game. It is what it is. We accepted a lot of bullshit in gaming for a while and it's just considered normal now, unfortunately. I'm going to be happy if there is nothing else than just skins people are going to be buying. Like the four day early access for people that pay more for the base game sucks. But if there is going to be no more bullshit than that, then I'm going to still be happy because the game is fun. It is well made. So, we'll see. I mean, I don't work for Blizzard. I don't have any special info for you. I'm hoping, like everyone else, that it's gonna be uh, a good game without any scummy pay-to-win mechanics. Yeah, I think we're just gonna upgrade the Frost Nova now. To be honest, the Flame Shield does kind of feel... Like a really good thing to have. The moment that there is like a really difficult situation where I might die, just popping flame shield for the complete immunity to any damage. And you're faster so you can run out of a group of mobs. And it can heal you too. Yeah, this seems very... The event started again. This seems very safe to go for. Maybe I'm gonna decide to go for it. I, I do like all the frost spells. We will definitely take the hydras though. Apparently the Hydras are like the strongest summon. But otherwise besides the besides the Hydra, I'm definitely playing a frost mage. I need time to prepare that. I'm hoping we can reach level 25 with no death. And then we can try rogue. 
because we are kind of tight with time to try still one more class. So a death means the character gets deleted. Indeed I am. Oh, now we can skip. Let's go. It like unbugged, I guess. He hit me, he hit me and immediately got, got frozen. Nice. Yeah, that's really good. I'm really enjoying the Frost Mage. It's super fun. I didn't try even like other elements. It's gonna be a difficult choice for the full release of the game. We still have like three months for June sixth. I am so did this happen. We have a long time to think. And maybe more videos and I still have to next weekend play. This weekend we still have to play Rogue. And next weekend we, there, there's gonna be unlocked Necromancer and Druid. So I'm, I still have a long time to, to like pick my first class because when in June the game comes out, I'm gonna play on softcore, uh, so no permadeath, and I have to choose a main character I want to play. And we want to, you know, experience the entire content of the game. And besides that, we're gonna be doing hardcore characters for sure and seeing how far we can go. I, I, I really enjoy hardcore, they're like the the fear of dying and losing your character but my first character obviously is gonna be softcore uh, when the game comes out because we want to experience all the content right uh, arrangement I make. makes sense life on kill actually and intelligence We're losing willpower Maximum life. But it's... Oh, man. My current helmet has such... What does willpower do to us? Research generation is a mana regen. Overpower damage. Yeah, intelligence is the main one, but... This is just armor, dodge. Yeah, willpower is pretty important, too. It is. Dexterity, I guess, is just an extra thing. Poison resistance. Yeah, for now, I don't think, like, it's 50 armor. It is 50 armor. So, I don't know, man. It's always difficult to let go of a legendary. It's always difficult. I might keep it in my inventory for now, though. I'm gonna keep it for now. So let's see. Goldwell spent. We have the two main missions. Still a side mission there. And I would have to go down to unlock this. Also. I'm assuming the first time you are here. This is unavailable. Because I also missed it on my barbarian. Unless I'm always just going past it. Not paying attention. I'm not sure. I'm really happy we have Resident Evil 4 Remake coming out on Friday. But I'm definitely gonna miss Diablo a lot. I'm gonna be craving it for a couple months. Yeah, Ice, Ice seems really fun to play with. I need time to prepare that. Is this even Jar of Souls? Is this even going? There are souls around that I'm collecting and I don't think the event is even up. Yeah, I don't think the event is even up. I just collected those souls for no reason. Ah. 
I'm not ready yet. We have to be careful with like those events and places full of mobs. Like if I get swarmed, the locations level up with you, but still, we cannot make any mistakes. Oh, already. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Oh, there we go. See? I love how powerful freezing is. It's crazy. It's crazy how powerful freezing is. Like, maybe, hey, maybe fire does more damage. Who knows? I didn't try other builds yet but the fact you freeze stuff it's what makes it so strong so they cannot swarm me and attack me up close before they die because they just freeze and I get free damage on them oh event is going I love the effects of playing sorcerer too Already frozen. Wow. Wrecked. Right away frozen. The moment the boss appeared. <laughs> Magic rubbish. I'm pretty sure I'm... Um, rare trash, yeah. I'm rare trash. Uh, I was actually little trash before. On my barb. That was my favorite title. Lethal Trash. Gotta love it. 60, 58. This is another job 8, see? 39. Yeah, this is worse and it says it's better. That's a lie. There is, there is some bug with like checking stats for... Oh, we get armor max life, but we lose willpower. I guess, yeah, being more tanky kind of pays off. Not switching the legendary for now, though. I love that they get rid of, like, the tedious stuff like portal scrolls. You can just open the portal right away. So, and go back. Is done. There we go. Um I could upgrade gear Need but I don't point. think it's worth at all right now We have the two main missions and this one We don't even have a teleport around there only here we don't have this teleport also unlocked, so it's pretty bad right now. This is not connected, but we can go through here. So it's gonna be faster from the town. Oh, but we do have the main mission. Let's go here. Let's go there. I'm gonna play a little longer, then I'm gonna probably go get some coffee. So it's gonna be like a... And that's my... Dagger still. I'm gonna probably go get coffee, so it's gonna take like two minutes, maybe. Search for new yeah. This mission was just following the, the the demon dog, so it was just following the demon dog. So let's go do that. I should not be in danger. Famous last words.
I, I wish this game was coming out right now. See, like, my problem was... Like, I try to stream every single day, but sometimes I... When I run out of single-player games, and I don't have a main multiplayer game, uh, I just, like, stop playing games. And it's not only on stream, I just don't play games at all. I just, like, don't know what to do on, on PC. So, I sometimes have those moments where I just, like, stop streaming for a week or something. And I feel bad because I want to stream, but there's nothing to play. It's just, like, the dr dry periods. So, we're gonna have Resident Evil 4 Remake. On Friday. But once the beta is over, I'm gonna like really miss having a game like this. That I can just grind. So I cannot wait for the full release. Like having a game like this that has a ton of content and you just play it day and day, day and night. Like that's the best for me because I I can just Sit, sit here for like 10 plus hours easily every day on stream just grinding you know it doesn't feel long at all that's that's like the life of a streamer when there's no content it's just problematic to to do long streams every day but when you have a game like this, like... All I think about is the game, so... The moment I can, I right away turn on the stream and just start grinding again. It gets a little unhealthy, for sure. Where, like, this weekend I've been just like... Only, you know, eating food, sleeping, and playing this game. You don't, like, go out and exercise. But it, it is how it always, like, a launch of a game is. Like, a couple days later, when you are not in, like, that extreme run for leveling up, you kind of start moderating the amount you play. See, those like range classes were so annoying on Barb because I have to run after them. Meanwhile, you play a Sork and you just, you know, shoot everything and keep running. So it's so refreshing after getting Barb to 25. So refreshing. So still didn't make a final choice what we're gonna play on the game's release. I heard people saying that the rogue is the most broken one apparently, but you definitely have to get to like a high level. I just hope PvP is gonna be good. I hope PvP is gonna be good and, like, that's why I was thinking about playing Barb. Barb seems fun for PvP to, like, jump into a group of people and just destroy them. Oh no, my OBS is freaking out. Is my stream live? My... my Twitch chat. Broken OBS. Dude, this game has so many issues. I don't know if it's gonna go back. I don't even know if I'm live. 